Hello everybody and welcome back to another FTB Infinity Expert Evolved Skyblock all that jazz. What are you doing there Mr. Horse? Why are you here? Um, anyways, welcome back. Uh, sorry for the delay for, you know, I was away and all that kind of stuff at PAX East. Oh god, this is gonna be loud. Mm-hmm. It's a thing. It's fine. It's fine. But anyways, I was away for a few days at PAX East, for those of you that didn't know, and I had a wonderful time and I met amazing people. They're all really, really awesome people. That's all I can really say about that. Um, but we had a lot of fun. I got to meet a lot of nice new people that I've never met before as well, and really got to visit and have a good time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed some of the Stardew Valley stuff. I'm going to keep on going with that series. Um, it's getting pretty good response, and I really do appreciate that because, honestly, there might come a day where Minecraft is no longer around and that is a day that's going to be a sad day for us that are true fans but it is a day that could happen and well when that happens i need to have another option i need you guys to be wanting to watch me and not just minecraft so anyways where we left off last time if i remember correctly was we built the infusion stuff over here and we needed to, we got the sword of the zephyr right here now we need to get that into a binding ritual i think it was called yeah binding ritual and for that we made the ritual of ritual diviner and we got that set up to the ritual of binding and that requires 24 total ritual stones so let's see okay i got some reinforced stone that's not too bad that's a decent amount of reinforced stone um also, I've kind of decorated out some of the grass along the outside. There's still a little bit of work that needs to come in with this, but I think that this is starting to look really nice. Just from above here like this, that is perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. Um, but let's get a little bit of crafting going on here first and foremost. So we're going to want the... We're going to need a master ritual stone and a ritual stone. This guy right here. So if we do that and we place in our orb, we can get... That's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 4, I think is what I needed, right? And then we're going to need... A master ritual stone just to make things all work together just like that now is that the right amount I do not know uh, so we need four air four water four fire four earth no I think an eight blank and the master ritual I think that's correct so I'm pretty sure we need another set of the ritual if not I'm sure we'll use it at some point here anyways so we'll get another set just ready to go. Good. And yeah. Quick little note. As you can see the FTB inventions thing there in chat. That is another new pack by FTB1. I'm not going to do a series on it. But I may live stream from it. Just saying. Alright. So uh, let's go. I don't really know where I want to do my rituals like this. I think I'm just going to go out the back here. And just kind of set it up out here for now, just in space. Um, nothing too crazy or anything like that. Because, yeah, this is just easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on it with the diviner. Good, because it's already set to the binding. It automatically places everything down for us. Sweet. Love it. And I was right on the amount of stuff, which is good. Okay. So, then, the next step is to get this guy actually done. So, I think first things first, we need a bit of a floor. Because um, <laughs> that floor does not look very good. And we don't want the floor to be flammable. So, let's see. Why do we have so much dust? Why is this not going faster? What is going on? What is the hold up here? Do we not have any room for iron? Are we out of room for iron ingots? No, we can't be, right? We can't be, can we? We are out of room for iron 
ingots. Oh boy. Okay. That's the situation. Uh, let me fix that and let me get a block for the floor. All right, so we got a bit of a floor and all that kind of stuff, which is good. Now, to get this thing to work, we also need another item, and that is called a weak activation crystal. So this guy, we need a lava crystal. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that's a recipe. Okay. All right. All right, let's see. Do we have any warded glass over here? Pretty sure that's basically empty. I think it's, it would be in here. Oh, man. I don't think we do. Oh, shucks. Do we have the stuff? We don't even have the stuff. Oh, man. This is terrible. Terrible news. Magic callus. Magic callus. We do not have it. Okay, so we're going to need to get some warded glass. Um, but we also need... What else do we need for this guy? So we're going to need three buckets of lava any obsidian, a mana diamond, and then this empty core, which is a simple catalyst. That's pretty easy. We should have all of that. So, uh, let's see. We got it somewhere. Simply, simple catalyst. Okay, good. All right. So, we're good there. Do we have a mana diamond? No, we do not. Okay, let's get a diamond. Oh, wow. 20,000 diamonds. Not too bad. Um, I've basically disabled all of my chunk loading because we've been investigating the source of the lag that we were having on the server. Um, I think Direwolf and a couple others were all looking into it, and I believe they found it. But uh, I'm not sure if that's 100% correct. I have not really experienced any lag in the last little bit, so that's good. Um, okay, good. What are, what are we missing? We're missing the buckets of lava. We'll craft another one. That's fine. Really? Game? Why did that take so long? Okay. Three buckets of lava, and then we need to get the warded glass. So let me get the magic callus and all that kind of stuff ready. And we will get that all prepared and good to go. I don't know if my mouse is starting to double right click or not lately, but it's not great either way. All right, so we got everything we need to get the warded glass. Very nice. That worked well. And I think that's about it. So let's head on back down here and craft up our weak activation crystal. Okay, weak activation crystal. Lava crystal, go. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Very nice item. This guy's actually, you can use it to basically even in a furnace and stuff like that to smelt things, um, which is pretty cool. So you can, it works very well, actually. Let me just put it that way. Um, also works decently well in steam boilers. Not bad. But make sure that you uh, have enough life in your system to pull that off. Speaking of life in our system, we need to get more uh, in here. We're only at 2,000 LP. Um, now, I've actually turned off most of this, as you can see. So, I'm going to turn back on our Enderman, get those guys going, and then I can farm up some more goodies. Ha! Uh -huh. Alright, so we're back here, and we have enough, so let's throw in the lava crystal. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that should be cooking up quite quickly, actually. Wow. All right. Um, which is good. We have a few spare endermen there as well, which is very nice. And, you know, we can use that to our advantage. But this weak activation crystal is what we are truly looking for. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Fill it all up. Fill it all back up again. Kill them all. Excellent. But as you can see here, we have our weak activation crystal. Of course, right-click it as per almost everything in Blood Magic to rebind it to yourself. Uh, you always want to make sure that you have everything bound to your life pool, which is good. Okay. Ah, oh, peace and quiet. At least for but a moment and already noisy again. Okay. So what we need to do here is we need to right-click on that. A rush of energy is now flowing through it, and ah, 
Stop the violence. Stuff gets lightninged. And boom. There is our beautiful blood orb item. Awesome. Okay. So we got the bound blade. That is beautiful. Now what we need to do with the bound blade is we actually need to kill bad guys. So all those guys that I just killed, well, guess what? We need them. But the other thing is, is we got the blood orb trophy. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to set this guy out right here. Now the cool thing about the bound blade, you should leave this activated, is kind of a clue to not leave it activated. So as you can see here, it is deactivated when you get it, and then a right click on it will activate it. Now once it's activated, a shift right click, sorry. Once it's activated, it will drain blood out of your system. So we're at 27054. If I activate it, every once in a while it should take some there you go it just took 50 all right so if you're putting this thing away make sure that you are prepared to do so but now i need to kill bad guys with this to try to get an item that we are looking for and i believe i just saw one come through but we'll kill them all we're gonna need a few anyways so we'll kill all these bad guys with our blade mm-hmm Nothing noisy about this at all. No. No, nothing noisy at all. There we go. Okay. And a couple of taint spiders. Great. Great. All right. Anyways. Um, so, we've killed off a few. And we've got some... Ow! You little gapper. All right. So we've got some weak blood shards. These are items that we definitely need. So we can now deactivate that guy. Boom. See that double click just came in again. Mm-hmm. Not good. Not good. That means I might need a new mouse soon. Not good at all. Now the weak blood shards are used for all things a little bit further along in blood magic. And the main thing that we needed them for, I can't remember exactly, but I believe it was. So this is a recipe, for example, so you can duplicate your gas tiers. But you can also make more of them like this in your chemistry set and you can also get the large bloodstone bricks which is good um let's see you can do spells with them i'm trying to remember exactly what i needed them for i apologize i've been away so it's kind of a thing just saying when you've been away for quite some time you usually forget things. It's fine, though. We'll get back on track in no time. All right. So we got a few items here. Um, let me get... I think I needed it for the Tier 4. Is that correct? For me to upgrade this to the Tier 4, I need... Is it the Bloodstone Bricks that I need? I think it is. Hmm... I gotta f figure that out again. Um, but anyways, I think it's the bloodstone bricks that we need from this recipe in here. Which was this guy right here. The large bloodstone brick. So that's some ritual stones with the weak blood shard. Okay, good. Um, and that'll get us to a tier 4 blood altar. So let me just get some of that going. All right, so I'm prepping up the next level here. As you can see, I've already made the blood runes. We haven't done any of the upgrades yet, though, which is a little bit of a troublesome thing. We don't need to put in that. We need to put in these guys. Is this going to work, though? Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay, so this with the ritual stones is going to give us our large bloodstone bricks. Very nice. I love it. I love it. Um, let's see. What did I use here? I think I used the quite clear glass, didn't I? Okay, let's get some glass going then of that uh, right there. Perfect. And we will start setting this guy up. So right here, we need to go up by four. And it doesn't need to be glass. It can basically be any block that suits your styling or anything like that that you're doing in your world. Um, I'm just using glass for now because I love the look of the glass. Oh god, I think the mouse is doing the old double click thing. Not great. Alright. Um, oh god, this thing's so fast. Okay, four up, good. 
This guy should basically be almost done. Let's clear out a little bit more blood. Keep this thing nice and stocked, which is always useful. Good. Good, good, good. And we should have enough blank slates here to kind of finish this. I ran out. I miscalculated. I was off by about 12 blank slates uh, for whatever reason. So, you know, one of those things. So that should, we should have enough now. Let's just take a quick glance. Oh, yeah, 21. Beautiful. I'll have to make more of those, but I'll make them off camera uh, when I get around to it. The rain is a little problematic, but not too, too bad. All right, we'll do that. We'll put that there. And we're out of shards now. Really? Is this real life right now? I tell you. I tell you, I think this is just a fantasy. Can't be real life. Nope, confirm, not real life. Okay, uh, shards. Just, yeah, that works. Great, thanks. Thank you. I need to actually automate some of the shards. Actually, I don't really need to automate them, do I? Five. Perfect. I think that's right. So we'll do that. We'll store the rest for now. Um, we're just kind of storing everything in the AE system. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, oh, that scared me. Holy crikey. Okay. So uh, if I click on this, let's see. It's still saying tier three. Did I do something wrong? Oh, yes. Well, of course I did. We need our red bloodstone bricks. On top, like so. Good. And let's see. Do we have tier four? Yes, indeed we do. Tier four. Awesome. Okay. So there's a few more here that we can kill up. And I got to make more slates and all that kind of stuff. But we have our tier 4 altar. Now the cool thing about the tier 4 altar is, well, it kind of opens us up to a whole new options, basically. Because now we can start looking at some of the more advanced rituals and really start to develop this a little bit further uh, in, which is great. Um, it really takes that long to get here. Um, let me check to see how far we are on the video. I'm, I'm rusty. I'm so rusty at this. That's all I can say. I am super rusty because I've already caught myself numerous times going, really? Really? Stuff like that. So I apologize for the rust. I'll need to work it off for sure. But, uh, I literally spent the first probably hour or so trying to figure out exactly what I was going to do for the episode and all that kind of stuff and then I remembered what we were doing and etc etc things happened blah 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 all right so we're going to sleep off the nighttime and I think we have the tier 4 altar which is great uh, the tier 4 altar means that we're going to need to get ourselves into the eldritch guardian stuff to get the tier 4 orb if i'm not mistaken i believe it requires an eldritch eye this guy right here boom yeah tier 4 blood altar and 40,000 lp but i think before we do that we're also going to look at upgrading a lot of our runes and stuff like that around the altar and just generally improving it overall but that's going to take quite a bit of grindy work here this same grindy work that you've seen me do how many times so i'm going to get all of that done off camera for sure um because yeah that just doesn't make any sense to do it otherwise so anyways uh let me double check the time i'm not sure where we're at and the rust is thick all right, so we're back here, and I've decided that we should actually make some of these runes because, well, we can. Why not? So we're going to get a rune of augmented capacity here, first and foremost. And I do want to get two of those, so I'm going to need three more buckets at least. And those guys like so. And that should give us the other one as well. These guys are decently expensive, all things considered. So you might want to... Keep that in mind once you're uh, going through the things. Um, boom, boom, boom. Good. And that gives us another one. Okay, good. They're not too, too bad, though. They're not that bad. We can make a couple more solars as well. Go. Beautiful. 
kind of getting our power system up on track for the most part here. Uh, we're doing pretty good. This is six. This is going to give us our sixth ultimate power. And pretty soon we'll be able to upgrade that as well. Now, the cool thing about this is we can slap these guys in basically anywhere. So, for example, I'm going to throw one here and one over on the other side here just to keep things all nice and balanced and looking pretty uh, but that as you can see down below in the bottom left there it says we're at 9,900 9, LP of a capacity of 14,000 now so we can actually kill some more guys and we can get up to 14,000 LP in here which is great because we are starting to talk about things that are going to require additional LP overall. So probably a good idea to get quite a few of these going. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to fill up my blood network a little bit more. And the other thing that we need to do is I want to make another one of those runes over here um, while we can. So let's get another rune, blood rune. Yeah, of capacity. Good. Go. Uh, we're going to need the buckets again. We'll get, you know what, let's just make 12 buckets. Why not? I'm sure we'll use them at some point in time. And I left the orb, didn't I? It's fine. It's fine. No big deal. All right. That's okay. We can take it off now. We're just going to slowly fill up the system while we're at it. So these augmented capacities are lovely items to have. You definitely want a certain amount of them. Um to use okay good but now we're out of blood runes themselves uh, what did we need for that i think we just need flint yeah i think we just need flint yeah my right mouse button is double clicking for some strange reason and i do not know why there we go a whole bunch of waystones this will help us on our blood rune adventures oh god okay Good and good. Let's see if we can get another one of those in place. Another augmented capacity. Good. Okay. And boom and boom. Excellent. All right. So that gives us four. Nice and balanced. All four sides of the altar. And that should give us a decent amount of LP as well. I think that's up to... Is that going to give us 18,000? Uh, capacity 18,000. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. All right, so 18,000 capacity is very good. Now, there's other upgrades that you can do. One of them is speed, which is very nice, as is the rune of sacrifice. Rune of sacrifice gives you more blood per mob that you kill into your altar. So that one's pretty sweet, too. I think we're going to leave it about here, though. I know that this video is a little bit shorter than my usual. Um, again, sorry, I'm rusty. I'm just getting back into things, and it's already quite late. I'm still quite tired, actually, all things considered. It took a lot more out of me than I realized it would. Um, but we'll get back on track here. No big deal. Uh, live streams, again, will be back on track come the weekend and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about my plans there and here as well as everything else. So thank you so much for watching this episode. I really do appreciate your guys' support. Leave a like, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.